Hello, today we're talking about data types and we're going to focus on two important concepts. Uh, one of those is widening conversion and one of those is narrowing conversion. So the two data types that we're dealing with today, uh, we're dealing with integer and we're dealing with double. Um, integer can contain uh, whole numbers and a double um, you would use, uh, it's a variable data type that you could use um, for if, if you had a number that had decimals. So uh, I want to show you guys right here we have, we have our uh, our file that we're going to be working with today uh, and the code for this is online so if I go into this you'll notice that here's my uh, class header and it's the name of uh, the, the program right here this is the, the header for the main method so this is the part that we're gonna be concerned with right now uh, this demo part one. So right here I'm declaring uh, an integer variable called int number and then I'm declaring a double variable called dbl number. Right here I'm taking the number 10 and I'm putting it into int number. Right here I'm taking the uh, number 10.90 and I'm putting it into dbl number. So now when I uh, tell the the uh, computer to print the following line it will say the small, the small number is and this int number will be 10. So it's going to say the small number is 10. And then when it says the big number is, it's going to take this variable right here, which is dbl number, and that is 10.90. So if we go ahead and we run this program, so Java C space crow 3 underscore 007 underscore data types demo dot Java. It'll compile. There we are. And let's see if we can find that file. There it is. It was created right there. So now <clears throat> I can go ahead and just run the Java virtual machine, the Java executable, on the class file. And as you can see, it says the small number is 10, the big number is 10.9. So that worked. Let's go back into the file here. Oops. And let's do demo part two. So now we're going to test to see what happens when you put an int data type, or a number from uh, an integer variable, into a double data type. So I'm going to remove these two comments. So now I'm taking whatever is in int number and I'm going to put it into dbl number. And this should work because um, int numbers are fairly simple. They don't contain decimal points. And dbl numbers can contain decimal points. So I should be able to put this, this 10 into dbl number. So dbl number will become 10. So I'm going to go ahead and run this again. So I'm going to compile. I'm going to reco Let me make sure I save this. Here we go. So I'm going to recompile, and now I'm going to run my command. So notice here, when I run this, it says the small number is 10, the big number is 10.9, the big number is now 10. So what happened here was this 10 right here, that's an int number, went into dbl number, and it became a double. Because when we displayed the double right here, it showed up as 10.0. Great, so let's move on to part three. This time, I'm going to reset everything. I'm going to reset int number to 10. I'm going to reset dbl number to 10.9. And then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to try to take dbl number and put it into int number. So what happens when you take a number that has a decimal and you try to put it into a data type that cannot contain decimals? Well, let's try it. Let's see what happens. So let me save this. Save. So I'm going to compile the file. And if you notice, I got an error right here. It says possible loss of precision. That's correct. Um, one of the nice things that Java will do if it runs into an error is it'll kind of give you a hint as to what went wrong. And this says possible loss of precision. That That's true because we're trying to take a double data type right here, a number with a decimal, and we're trying to put it into a data, uh, a variable of the data type that cannot have a, a decimal. So I'm going to lose um, some of the precision, the precision of this number right here. So in order to make this work, I just need to comment, comment it out. I'm going to comment this part out right here. And we come down to part four. You can force 
a conversion from a double to an integer by using what's known as a cast operator. And to do that, you just do a parentheses, uh, int, end parentheses, dbl number, and you set that equal to int number. So right here, we're going to actually do what we were doing up here, but this time we're going to tell Java, hey, force this to happen. So the question is, will 10.9 become 11? Will Java round up to 11 when that value goes into int number, or will it just chop off the 9 and leave um, <clears throat> and make int number uh, equal to 10? So let's go ahead and try that. Let me go ahead and save here. Go ahead and compile and run. And aha, here we go. The small number is 10. What it does, it does not round up. What Java does is it just cuts off that 0.9 and it just makes whatever number this is uh, into a regular integer. So right here, it says the small number is 10. And that's what 10.9 right here became when I put it into int number. So I hope this helps. Today we were talking about data types. We're talking about integers, doubles, and widening and narrow, narrowing conversion. So widening conversion is when you take a uh, integer and you put it into a double data type. A narrowing conversion is when you take a double and you put it into an integer. And of course, with narrowing conversion, you'll often uh, lose um, some uh, preciseness with your number.